Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome to the office tour for 2022. Let's get into it. All right, so I gotta be honest, I absolutely love this office. I've really kind of spent a lot of time to make it my own. If you guys have watched any of my previous YouTube content or definitely follow me over on Instagram, I know for a fact you've seen a lot of stuff with my desk set up over here. And then you guys have seen this kind of little backdrop area, which is like shelves, shoes, all that kind of stuff. But you guys have never really seen behind this camera. So in today's video, I'm gonna kind of walk you guys through the entire office, all the different spaces, how I kind of utilize this second bedroom in our apartment here to be my whole YouTube studio and home office. So you know what, let's just start out with this little backdrop area and then we'll kind of work our way around the room. All right, so this is really one of my favorite parts of the entire office. It's really my main backdrop to most of my YouTube videos and really it's kind of turned into like a sneaker display and like the mini fridge area. But as I was saying, I got a lot of my favorite sneakers up here. I got some different artwork on the walls. These lights are made by LifeX. This one was actually discontinued. As you can see, it's really just kind of like janky and taped up here right now. So we don't need to look too close at that. Come back over here. Um, and then this is a Kobe poster. This is my favorite Kobe Bryant quote. Um, I designed this thing myself in Photoshop. I ordered it off like a cheap canvas website. So I know I get a ton of questions about that. There's nowhere that you can exactly order that specific one, but it's super cool to me and something that really is kind of like a big inspiration. And that really is a main factor for a lot of these things in my office is I try to be surrounded by things that I'm inspired by or things that I'm into. And I think it's really important to have a space that you really are happy in and that you really love if you need to kind of sit down and create something. So definitely recommend that. As far as the shelves go, I picked up these shelves from Ikea. I know a lot of people ask questions about that. And I should say, I will try to link everything down in the description below that I possibly can that's in this entire office. It's gonna be a lot of stuff, but I'll... You gotta leave, you gotta leave. This is Daphne, she's grunting in my video. So if you hear a little grunt, <laughs> if you hear a little grunt, that's her down there. But as I was saying, I'll try to have everything that I possibly can linked down in the description below um, that I have here in my office. I will spend the time and try to make all those links. But yeah, the shelves are from Ikea, the sneakers I picked up over time. Down here below, I just have hidden away like a printer, the wireless router, stuff like that. A little bit of storage back here. And then without a doubt, one of my favorite parts of the entire office, which is the first thing you get when you walk into the office is my mini fridge. Now, you guys will notice that this has now been in the past two office tours. And as you can tell, we made a little upgrade this year and everything is stocked head to toe with Ghost Energy. And we got some actually, some ready to drink proteins from Ghost as well. I think today we're gonna go with a little orange cream flavor here. Mmm. That flavor is good. Now, in really exciting news, about a month ago, I actually officially partnered up with Ghost Lifestyle, which is honestly a dream come true. So shout out to you guys for making that possible. And anyone who uses my code Jayhawk, it'll save you guys 20% off at ghostlifestyle.com. It really does mean a lot to me. Be sure to DM me or tag me so I can reach out to you guys and say thank you. But yeah, that's why this fridge is stocked head to toe in Ghost, and I wouldn't have it any other way. So let's move on to the next section of the office, all right? Okay, so this, is honestly the part of the office you guys probably never see. I don't really think it's that aesthetically pleasing to be honest, but I'll kind of just run you through what this section is. So starting over here, I kind of just have some storage that goes behind the door here. I have different tripods. I have a backdrop, which I haven't used in this office. Um, I have a calendar up there, which is not getting much use right now, but honestly it is really nice when I do fill it out. So I need to do that again. Over here, I actually have um, just like a little TV up here. I actually wish I would have gotten a bigger TV now, but you know, whatever. I got it on sale and it works. But the whole idea of having this TV is when I'm working here late at night, I can actually sit here at my desk, face this way, you know, have like a Lakers game up, or maybe I throw on someone's stream or something like that while I'm working. It's kind of just a nice way to not just be staring at my computer screen all day. I can just stare at a different screen instead. So uh, yeah, I like to just have multiple things going on in here. Maybe that's just actually a problem, but that's just kind of how I roll. So uh, below the TV, we actually have this Husky tool chest. And I love this tool chest. This is actually where I hold most of my camera gear. And as you will see, it's really messy. I did not clean anything. This is raw and real for you guys. I got random stuff in there. Um, I just have different camera gear, different stuff like that. 
Um, but I cannot take credit for thinking of this. Shout out to uh, Matt Day. He actually is the one that put me on this. It's just a really good idea. It keeps your camera gear protected. It's not gonna get dusty and you can actually lock this thing up if you want to as well. So I know I'm starting to see more and more people with this to hold like, you know, camera gear and different things like that and highly recommend it. And this one's on wheels too, which is sick. So uh, it's heavy, but you can at least roll it around. And then I got even more Ghost Energy up here, which is funny. Uh, another LifeX beam above the TV. And then this is actually one of my two lights. This is the Godox XL60W uh, with the Aperture Lantern uh, softbox on top of it. That light is super affordable. Um, this softbox isn't bad either, so great combo right here. And that's pretty much it for this side of my office. Like I said, I never really show it much in any of my content. It's mostly a lot of times just kind of where I'm storing stuff and making this side of my room look pretty. So you always need kind of that section of your office and that's it for me. So over here, moving on, my computer went to sleep, hang on. All right, so this is definitely just a leisure part of my office. It is my gaming PC. Now, I don't include really any gaming content on my channel. Let me know down in the comments below if you guys want me to change that in the future, but gaming is a big part of my life. I spend a lot of my evenings doing that, some weekend nights, stuff like that with some of my homies. It's just a way that we kind of hang out. Um, right now I got Halo Infinite pulled up right now, which is definitely not the move. But that gaming PC, I built it a couple years ago myself. It still is a beast for, and plenty for anything that I do. It has an i9 processor, a 2080 Ti, um, I think 64 gigs of RAM. So yeah, it's plenty for me. And this is just a cheap little Ikea desk. Nothing crazy at all, but I just wanted to keep this minimal and small off to the side here in my office. It's not really an important part of my office and my content, but it kind of fits in with the overall aesthetic. So I'm kind of debating in my next office what I want to do. Do I want to keep this separate? Do I want to combine it to just one big setup? Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And then as far as peripherals go, I have a Razer Naga mouse. Um, I got an Xbox One X controller there. This is the 100 Thieves High Ground Keyboard. Um, and then this is just like a 27 inch Asus monitor. Um, nothing crazy, I think it's like 144 hertz. It's not the best monitor ever, but it's plenty fine for gaming. And like I said, it's not that important to me over here, but it gets the job done. It's still pretty good. Okay, I think I'll kind of go behind it. So you can kind of stay wide while I talk about it and then maybe get a little bit closer. All right, last but not least, it is my main desk setup, okay? Now this is where I spend most of my time and it definitely takes up the most amount of space in my office here. It's where I film my YouTube videos. It's where I shoot a lot of my Instagram content. It's where I edit late at night. So this is a really important part to me and I am really happy with how it turned out. So I know I get a ton of questions about the desk itself. So these are actually two pieces from Home Depot. They are butcher block countertops. So these things are heavy and they are solid for sure. Um, underneath, I have a couple Alex drawers from Ikea. Um, and then I just have a couple soft horse legs from Ikea as well. So that's really the main structure of the desk itself. Um, I decided to go unfinished with this. I thought it would kind of wear in and look cool, but honestly, it kind of just is starting to look dirty and a little gross. So I might have to sand that down and finish it. Um, but yeah, this is where I spend most of my time. This chair is made by Autonomous. And I gotta be honest, I don't really like it. So I'm in the market for something new. If you have any suggestions, let me know. Okay, so this is where I'm spending most of my time and now I'm feeling like a giant because I'm 6'5 and this seems so low to me. But this is really where I spend most of my time. I have my 16 inch M1 Max MacBook Pro here. You guys know I've been rocking this thing a lot. Um, I don't always have it open like this. Some people hate on me on Instagram because they say it's floating off the edge and I'm gonna break it. It's safe, okay? Don't worry about it. I have a 34 inch LG ultra wide monitor here. Um, and then I also have a BenQ monitor light, which is pretty cool. Um, I've been recently, I switched over to the Logitech MX Master 3 mouse and the MX Master Keys, I believe is the name of it. And then on top of the desk, I have a ton of different Grove made accessories. Um, I have like a riser here, a desk mat, a really cool um, headphone holder here. And honestly, they have a bunch of other really cool accessories as well. And actually I have a discount code with them. I believe it's Jayhawk. So you guys can save, I think it's 10% off. So that'll be down in the description below if you pick anything up from Grove Made. They make some really sick products. And then a couple other little honorable mentions here. I have just an Amazon Echo under here. If I need to ask Alexa something, um, I have an Anchor wireless uh, charger right here. I got my iPad mini. I have a Rode uh, 
Roadcaster, is that what it's called? A road, no. And then here I have a Rode uh, pod mic, which is really good quality audio. I use it in some of my YouTube content and maybe for some future projects. Let me know if you guys would be interested in some sort of a podcast something from me in the future. Maybe something I wanna do. And then this giant big light right here is the Aperture 120D Mark II along with the Lightdome Mark II. It is the big holy grail light that most YouTubers have. It's definitely not cheap. If you are in the market for something a little bit cheaper, honestly, Godox makes some pretty comparable uh, products for a lot cheaper. So that's what that other light is that I had. Um, but this light is amazing. It definitely is just more in the thousand dollar range. So keep that in mind. And then as far as what's on kind of the walls over here in my desk, I have a Mac Miller uh, canvas back there. I know I get a lot of questions about that. Um, I have a couple of hats from just some cool brands that I enjoy. Obviously, I'm rocking a lot of Anaka Power stuff. I love those guys. I get a lot of questions about these as well. These are just like these city maps. I picked these up from Etsy and then just picked up some random frames. But I got LA, Columbus, and New York. And actually, I need to order a fourth one for another city, which will make sense to you guys here soon. All right, guys, so that's really it for my office tour for 2022. And like I said, I absolutely love this space. I spent a lot of time kind of filling the walls and the shelves with things that I really personally enjoy, things that inspire me and that really kind of just make me happy. And that really does make a difference. Now, this office isn't perfect. There's honestly a lot of things I would change about it. But that's kind of the funny thing about a home office or just any space is it's always gonna be a work in progress. Things are always gonna be changing. And honestly, I wasn't even planning on filming this office tour today. A lot of big changes have happened, some life-changing things. So definitely stay tuned to the channel because over the next couple weeks, uh, you guys aren't gonna see this office anymore. There's a lot of things that will be changing. I'm really excited to share it with you guys and kind of bring you along for the ride. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching today's video and I hope you enjoyed all the content here in my office. There might be one or two more videos in here and then that's it. So end of an era, I've really enjoyed this office and everything we've been able to create in it. And I can't thank you guys enough for all the continued support. So as I mentioned, everything that I possibly can that's in this office, I will have it linked down in the description below. But guys, that's gonna be it for me in today's video. I hope you enjoyed watching. If you did, will you please drop this video a thumbs up. If you're new around here, consider subscribing. I'd really appreciate it. And I will catch you guys in the next video very, very soon. Peace guys.